Hello everybody, this is Kathy DeRouge uh, from kathyplus5.blogspot.com and as promised I'm doing a video today on the braided card uh, that I posted on Facebook and on my blog and right here are two of them that I did today uh, trying to film this tutorial making this one I kept dropping pieces on the floor and so just stopped the video and started over and when I was doing this one uh, just before I finished up on it the camera shut off I don't have a fancy camera and I guess it's on a, like a, a time setting for energy saving or something but anyways uh, here's another one I did and this one uh, not quite sure which way is going to be up on this. I'd say this is. And then we have this one. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, but first I want to give credit where credit is due. Um, I found the template for this and the tutorial on uh, YouTube. And it was uh, called Brandy's Cards. And I downloaded this template, which you can, you know, cut a whole bunch of them out and and use them so you don't have to save. What you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of cardstock, five and a half by eight and a half, and score it in half. And then on the edge where it folds, you're going to take this template and you're going to use paper clips and clip it on. Just making sure that uh, you go through all of it and not just the front cover because you're going to be cutting through all of it. Okay. Let me get this one on here. And just make sure also that your paper clip's not going to be in the way of your cutting. Make sure it lines up right on the edge. And then you take your little scissors there and cut right up until the end of each one. And don't go beyond it. Like that. Okay, if it bubbles up, make sure you straighten it out. And just a couple more here. Let me see if I make sure it nope, didn't go all the way. Let me make sure it goes all the way. And I'm going to move this so I can do my last one. Then you can take your template off. Okay, now what you're going to do is you see you're holding it like this. Okay, it opens up this way. On the bottom is a triangle. Okay, you want to take the flap just above it and fold it straight down like this because you're going to be cutting that off and you want to cut that as straight as you can and up close as you can. And don't throw it away because you're going to be using it. Then you take your card and you open it up. Okay. Lay it down on a flat surface. Now you're going to take the flap here. Not the first one after the triangle, but the second one. And fold it down. Then pick up your triangle so that that flap can go down underneath. And then skip one and then fold this down and put your flap underneath. And continue all the way up. Fold it down, put it underneath. Fold it down, you get it. And then when you get to the top, as you're going to see, there's no flap for that and that's where that piece comes in I told you not to throw away you take it and you put it underneath and I got some zig pen handy here to just lift up the flap add a little bit of glue and glue it down make sure it's making sure it's straight and then do the other side 
Uh, it's not quite centered. There we go. Okay. Then you can take your card and fold it. Oops. And a little piece I want to trim off here. There we go. All right. Now to decorate. We have some lolly doodle papers. So first off, uh, I'm using uh, Fabri-Tac glue just for the sake of quickness. So I don't want to have a chance of running out of time again. I like it. You can move uh, your paper around a little bit, get it centered where you want it to be before it dries. And then my next mat. Center it. And then my last one. Couldn't decide which side of the paper I wanted, this one or this one. But I think I'm going to go with the polka dots on the top here. Because I don't want what I'm going to put on the top to get lost in it. Yeah. Okay, and what I did for decorating it as I cut these leaf pieces and added some lagoon ink from close to my heart uh, to the edges and I folded them bent them to give them a little more dimension um, and I cut these from the let me think now it was the art artiste cartridge at one and a half and then this one here, but I, I could snip the top off. Then I've got these that I cut at two inches and one and a half and layered them. And that's how I'm going to layer them on my card. And I ink them with Lagoon. Um, and then this starburst in the center is lolly doodle paper as well, but I used a McGill punch for that, for that center. And then I folded up some of the petals a little bit, uh, just to kind of make them look a little bit real. So, that is going to go there. So let's get this card together before we run out of time. And as you see, see, excuse me, um, the card itself isn't that difficult to make. I mean, it went together in a snap. And I'm sure it will for you, too. You'll just have to go and get yourself the template to download. And you're off. Okay. There's that. Now what I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to put that on, but first off, I want to make a bow. And I have some ribbon here from uh, Really Reasonable Ribbon. And I'm going to make a double bow. Let me just do this real quick here for you. These double bows work real easy if you have ribbon that is the same on both sides. Okay, come down through the center, come up and around, oops, oops, slippery fingers here, let's start over, okay, come on, good. Just one of those days, everything went wrong. I want a bow maker. Okay, there we go. I'm going to take it off my fingers now. That's usually the hard part. Oh, here we go. I don't want much here.
Oops, not you. Oop, get that out of the way. There. Okay. And that's it. Easy peasy. Before I go, I had a a contest going on, and I was giving away a stamp set. Um, and it was supposed to have been drawn on the 20th, and things got crazy around here with my husband in the hospital and whatnot. And so I forgot all about it. And the idea was to draw.